pieces, just about done. I already drained it once. Drain it again in a minute here, get all those pieces nice and cooked. I'm just going to dump all of this into there when it's all drained, and then add the sauce. So I'll take some garlic powder, add some of that to it, some uh, seasoned salt, just a bit, not too much because the cheese has got a lot of There we go. That's good. That's done. Now I'm going to drain, drain this burger. Okay, I've got that draining, so while that's draining, I've got hot water running. I'm going to add these cans of spaghetti sauce. About spaghetti sauce, if you want to use like the Newman Zone or some of that stuff, stuff, it's fine. Here's my drained meat. Turn that down a little. Get this whole concoction and put it in there. Intruders. Intruder alert. Okay, I've got everything here ready to put it together. If those noodles are done, I'm going to drain those. Just drain them, then I run them in cold water. Get them nice and cold so you can't get burned. Okay, here's the key to my killer design. And my grandma used to make this design just like this, and my mom. Let's start off by putting the sauce in. Bottom. I'm not going to use, you only use the sauce two times, so you use more on the second layer than you do the first. On the first layer, you're basically just putting about a half an inch, like maybe a third of the sauce on the bottom to keep everything from sticking or whatever. It just kind of has a bottom coat. Put that on there like so. Now, you got to put the noodles second because the cheese will stick on the bottom. So, my pan is too big to put, put noodles the full length, so I just put some crosswise across the back. I don't, I kind of stagger mine about half, see that, so it's, it's not a whole lot of noodle crossing going on. And I just take one here, just kind of fold that over a little. And then one more kind of there. Now, I washed my hands real good. The best way to do the ricotta is with your hands. You wash your hands real good, and you just take the ricotta, and just take your fingers, you're gonna use about half of it, and just slime it in there. I know it looks gross, but man, I'll tell you, you can use forks and everything else, and take all day about it. But I like to get it done and get that baby in the oven cooking so I can go relax. Okay, just kind of little blobs, about half of it, of course, same thing. Little great big blobs of greasy, grimy ricotta guts. There we go, about to about half. It's gross, very gross. Rinse off my hands. Next is mozzarella. You can grate your own, but I just buy a two pound bag. I use half of it for the first layer. So you sprinkle this, completely cover the ricotta. Don't use too much mozzarella on the first. Actually, just about half, or a little slightly less. And just cover that. Now, Parmesan. 